Hi, I'm Krista Commodore, becomingacomedian.com. Thank you so much for joining me. It's a Tuesday night around 8 p.m. and I'm gonna do a show at 8. I did my warm up at Stand Up New York just a little while ago. This is not a Nazi thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wanna be mistaken for I might just have to do the whole thing like this. Thank you very much, Krista. <laughs> I'm actually feeling kind of wired even though I may look very calm. It's the first place I ever did mics in November of 2014. And I would go into the bathroom and I would, oh my God, I would put my arms up in the air and hold them to do this this power pose thing just to feel more confident. I would I would listening listen to journeys, don't stop believing, and I would just kind of rev myself up in the bathroom. <laughs> and they're kind of they're they're fine bathrooms. They're fine, but it's a bathroom, right? So, hi. <laughs> uh, so it's the bathroom. So a lot of people are coming in and out. Like most of the audience members and people who are barked off the street. And uh, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Oh my gosh. So um. So I just did this show, and there were like five people there, and. It's funny because when, when you go to a mic, it's easy to kind of, um, I don't know, it's, there's so much camaraderie and there's so much hoopla that it's, I feel really good about myself, even if it's kind of a, kind of a, kind of a dead room, but, oh, um, I mean, I just know I'm going to have to do this a lot. Like, two people left after my, I thought I got a lot of laughs, I thought I got a lot of laughs, a couple of people left after my set. Um, a couple of people left after the comedy before me too. So. So yeah. So the first, the first club we saw was the Comedy Cellar, and you saw a huge crowd. And the second one is the Comedy Cellar at the Village Underground, and that was a massive line. So I just have to accept I'm. Whoa, way at the beginning, and I've got a long way to go, so I just have to suck it up and be disappointed. And I'm not gonna beat myself up, I'm not gonna beat myself up because I'm just I've only been doing this a year, I've only been doing this a year, so I just need to be really patient with myself. <sighs> Easier said than done, right? Okay, let's head back to Williamsburg and get a slice of pizza, that makes everything better. So I'm back in the neighborhood and, and I realized when I was on the train, I mean, I can't compare myself to people who've been doing this for over two decades. I can't do that. That's not going to help me at all. So what can I do? What can I change? A, I can get as much stage time as I can. Today I got on twice, tomorrow's once, Thursday I'll get on twice again. B, go to see as many pro shows as I can, which might just be one a week. Listen to comedy, watch comedy and to write every morning. When I do the, the morning pages, the where you write three pages, stream of consciousness, boom, you know, do that. That really helps a lot. Not only can I use it for my blog, but also it just clears that channel again so that the ideas just come up. Thank you so much. It's so sweet, the guy behind the counter. He's so cute, he, he was waiting for me to finish filming and then he handed me my my pizza, so I told him that I was doing this reality YouTube series. That's awesome, I'm gonna check that out. And he's like, oh, we have an open mic here every every Tuesday at 8 o'clock from 8 to 10.30. So I'm gonna do that next week. How fun, right? Okay, <laughs> have a great night. Ciao.